The world is a powder keg. And what I want to talk about is why you should live in fear. I'm not telling you to be afraid, but I'm saying you should live in fear. And what I mean by that statement is you should live in a cautious mind state because in the um, in this oh and do us a favor hit the like share and subscribe button shut the fuck up Shut the fuck up. In this HPB realm that we live in, the reason why you should live in fear is because you are around a bunch of ignorant people. And, excuse me, one of the things that comes with ignorance is not having self-control ignorant people in the hpb realm they are controlled by their emotions now your emotions it doesn't require you to think emotions just require require you to react i repeat Emotions don't require you to think. Emotions just require you to act. And if you guys haven't noticed by now, the camera quality may be better cuz I um cuz I just purchased myself the uh the new iPhone 15 cuz I wanted to uh you know have a better quality and plus my camera the reason why y'all haven't seen me in a minute because the camera on my other device was broken shut the f let me not react let me control my emotions okay so yeah that's that's the deal why you haven't seen me in a minute not just that but my my phone my phone camera was broke and uh, yeah, so why you should live in fear is, number one, you're surrounded by ignorant people in the HPB realm. And ignorance comes with not having self-control. And these people, because they are driven by their emotions, they react based upon their emotions. They react. They don't question what they do. They simply just do whatever makes them, they react upon whatever made them angry or upset. They not thinking why they did it. They just do it. So when you inside of that type of environment, you can expect a lot of crazy stuff to happen, you know? <laughs> you know? Not to mention, I've been keeping up with the news and everything, and I, the latest Israeli-Palestinian conflict, out of nowhere, they attacked Israel. Those people were sleeping, and out of nowhere, now we have a war. So I'm saying that to say, this world is a powder keg. And, and you can't help but to live in fear because you don't know who is under what type of religious programming. And that programming that people are living under, that's what inspires people to do what they do. Everything is inspired by a program. When you get onto your computer, and you download an, an app. 
it works off of a program. Everything in this world works off of a program. And it just happens to be in the HPB realm, they work off of the HPB programming. So if they see anything, if they see anything that makes them feel afraid, they're going to react to you in an ignorant manner. Hence, myself, you got a spirit of light inside of you. You come around people of darkness. You say something to them, they're going to attack you. It can be anything. There is no peace, just like how there is no peace between Jews and Muslims. There is no peace between us and them. There is none. You can't make a truce deal with them. It is what it is. Okay, give me one second, Joe. There is no compromising with them. You know, like for instance, I'm in this Walmart, right? So it was this lady in here, right? This was earlier before I started recording. And I simply waved at her like this. You know what she did? She looked at me and she rolled her eyes. <laughs> I know, right? I simply waved, didn't say a word, and she rolled her eyes. You know why? She felt something. You know what she felt? She felt that spirit of truth that's inside of me. That's what she felt. And you know what it did? It made her feel uncomfortable. And you know what I did? I just walked away with a smile on my face. You know why? Because my job was done. I made one of them feel uncomfortable. <laughs> you see, that's what you want to do. So I feel like I won in that little interaction. I won because I made the enemy feel uncomfortable. Going back to what? What do we teach? The invisible wars, us versus them. That little her rolling her eyes at me. That was a shot that you're not going to see on CNN. Or headline news Like you looking at the Israeli Gaza conflict You're not going to see that Invisible shot she sent That's the spiritual war That's the invisible war But guess who came out on top Yours truly Because what I did I just walked away With a smile Feeling good Because I knew why she did it see it's 2023 people we should know by now why they do what they do we should know by now so there should be no question as to why did this person do this or why did this person do that what was i at y'all when i left off when i left off i said i won that battle Okay, because I made them feel uncomfortable. And I'm just telling y'all about the stuff, the unseen world. Everything begins in the unseen and everything is destroyed in the unseen. A, a flower begins in the unseen world underneath the soil. And to kill a weed, how do you kill a weed? You got to uproot it from the source. And that source is found under the ground in the unseen. 
So I'm going to leave you all with that. And why you should walk around in fear. Not that you are afraid. But fear, you know what that word fear means? To respect. Respect your surroundings. Respect consequences and circumstances of what could occur if you trigger the things that are in your surroundings. If you went into a, uh, a science laboratory and you didn't know what liquid was what you would be hesitant to touch those things you would be hesitant to light a match around such said liquids and objects because you wouldn't know what's flammable or not what's poison to ingest so you would proceed with caution so you have to use that same frame of mind in the hpb realm Got to be cautious around these people, man. You got to stay below the radar. It goes back to all of these things we've taught. The invisible wars, becoming an observer. See, like I tell y'all, no matter how long I stay away or when I come back, it's going to be the same. The concepts that we teach, it don't change. It's generational. It passes down. It'll never change because they will never change. So you can look at these videos 50 years from now and everything that I say will still apply 50 years from now. The HPB realm is unchanging. They may switch it up a little bit. Like I was thinking to myself before I, you know, walked into, his, into this Walmart, right? I was saying to myself how the BlackBerry phone used to be the thing that everybody was talking about. And in the 90s, it was the pager. So they went from pager to BlackBerry to iPhone. Guess what? Three years from now, it's going to be something else. But guess what? That something else will still be a communication device serving the purpose to communicate with other people. The name of it may change. They may tweak it here and there, but the concept of that thing remains the same. Remember the things we speak about, the illusion of difference. Oh, I meet another person in the HPB realm. They're going to be different because they got a different face. No. And then, psh, HPB gonna smack you back to reality. And then you're gonna remember, Golden Swords told me about the illusion of difference. I met one girl and she did me wrong. So I'm gonna meet another girl. And she gonna do me right. Psh, same things happen. And then you're gonna say to yourself, the illusion of difference. That's what you're gonna say to yourself. It was the illusion of difference in operation. And, and lastly, um, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. The things that you are attracted to, it, it was the same feeling that led you to the last person that did you wrong. That's going to lead you to the next person that did you wrong. So what I'm saying is you met a lady she did you wrong. The lady that did you wrong, what drew you to her? Was it the way she looked? Nine times out of ten. When that, when that fell through, you meet someone else, another, another female. What drew you, you, you to her? The way she looked. That fell through. Because the way she looked was the, the illusion of difference. And... You thought because you changed a job, changed the female, changed the man, that the nature of the thing would change just because you put a different face on it. That don't change something. Just because you put a different face on something doesn't change the something from what it is. Like if you took the shell off of a certain model of a car 
and put another type of body design but kept the same engine and everything, that car is still going to operate the same. And it's like that throughout the HPB realm. Just because the decade changes from the 2010s to the 2020s, What occurs in that decade is not going to change. It's just going to be different players on the court with the same goal to defeat us. And that's all the HPB realm concept is about. It's very simple. It's very simple to understand. And the goal is not to be sucked into the illusion. And I got a good video coming out about illusion and reality. That's going to blow your socks off. I'm telling you. Y'all stay tuned for that. But I'm about to end this video right here. This is left side of the brain. It don't change. Nobody can stop the rain. Hey, we're going to keep raining. So all the haters, you better break out your umbrellas. Because we don't stop raining over here. And with that, like, share, and subscribe. And until we do this again, y'all know how we say it. HPB's down, Jaguar's up, and this is Left Side of the Brain, signing out.